Hi, I'm Marcus with SpeakYourMindMethod.com. So today I want to talk about the third edition of Lee Levette's book called Stuttering and Anxiety, Self-Cures. So what is the premise of this book and what are some of the key takeaways? And if you've dealt with a stutter like I have for much of your life, then is this a credible book that can actually help you overcome your stutter? I will attempt to answer all these questions in this video, so stick around. So Lee Levette's primary theme in this book is the insistence that the most important factor to overcoming a stutter is twofold. Number one, give your brain as many fluent memories as possible, and number two, give your brain as few disfluency memories or stutter memories as possible. And the way that Levette approaches this goal of minimizing the number of stutter memories or stuttering instances is primarily through a technique he calls crutches. Here are a couple examples of speech crutches mentioned in the book. So one of them is dropping the first letter of a feared word. So that could be dropping the first letter of a feared word. First, first, see I dropped the F on the word first, dropping the first letter of a feared word. That's one technique. Another one is rephrasing your thoughts or just using a different word. So that would be, you could say rephrasing your thoughts or reorganizing your thoughts or recategorizing your thoughts, right? Another crutch is starting off your sentence with a whispery tone. So starting off your sentence in kind of a whispery tone like I did there. And there are many more crutches mentioned in the book, but those are just three examples. So in Lee Levette's own words, a crutch is any technique that enables a person who stutters to dodge a soon to be stuttered word. Here's how Levette explains the logic behind why crutches are useful. If we have a broken leg, we don't walk on it. We use a crutch or two to allow time for the leg to heal. Similarly, when we have a mind that is full to overflowing with vivid memories of gross stuttering, in 3D with surround sound, some of which include laughter and mocking by listeners, we will never overcome stuttering. We need to begin adding less and then zero such plaguing memories daily and also to erase or replace as many of those stutter memories as we can with positive fluency memories. Now when I read this book, there was one idea in particular that really stuck out to me that I hadn't heard before and it was this idea of letting your urge to speak do the talking. And what that means is you don't allow yourself time to freeze up and kind of hold back in fear. Instead, when you have something to say or you, you have an idea to portray, which is rhymed, or let's say you're in the drive-through at Starbucks or McDonald's and they ask you what you would like to order, you don't think about the exact words you're going to use. Instead, think about the concept, the idea of this is what I'm going to order and I'm going to eat it. So I'm going to speak in a way that lets that urge, because I'm hungry, so I'm going to let that urge to speak come out, not wait and freeze up and then stutter all over my words. This can be a tough thing because sometimes for certain people who stutter, their problem is jumping in too fast, right? For me, that wasn't necessarily the problem, although that has been somewhat of a problem for me. But this is more related to when you feel a certain way, when you feel that urge and that energy bubbling from your soul and you wanna say something, don't wait around. If you just met somebody at a party, let's say, don't, after you introduce yourself to them or they introduce themselves to you, don't wait around and let the nervousness build up. Immediately let your urge to ask a question and ask it without allowing time for your brain to like figure out what you're going to say or what the exact words are going to be because that is when you stutter. Now like most tips when it comes to stuttering, it's usually not just one isolated tip that changes the game, but it was especially when I combined this with crutches that that became an incredibly potent way of beating stuttering and just skyrocketing my fluency rate. Another thing that I think Levette absolutely nailed on the head is this idea or this thought that stuttering is actually a blessing in disguise. Using myself as an example, this is 100% true. Now, if you're listening to me and if any part of you thinks that, oh, he's fairly pleasant and interesting to listen to, uh, let me tell you a secret. I don't sound like this naturally. 
Or at least this isn't how I used to sound. I've actually only created and used this style of speaking, the way that I'm speaking right now, since I was 19 or 20. Before then, my background and my culture is very monotone. Everybody talks like this. Everything sounds the same. There's very little energy, right? It's that, and that doesn't help your stutter. But when I really think about it, I'm actually quite grateful that I had a stuttering problem because that gave me an incentive to not only beat stuttering, but almost as a byproduct, become a much better speaker than I would ever otherwise have become. So I think Levette absolutely hit the bullseye on this. And if you wanna beat stuttering and you wanna overcome stuttering, you cannot view yourself as a victim. You can't complain if you don't get hired for jobs because you have a stutter. You can't become that person. You have to think positively. You have to take what's given you and you have to live with it. That doesn't mean you keep stuttering. That's not what I did and you shouldn't do that either. But that does mean you need to develop a plan and you need to find a way out of it. And I highly recommend this book by Lee Levette. And beyond this book, if you wanna take this a step further and you wanna to get to know my system and my program a little bit more, I've got something free for you to watch. It is my Stop Stuttering Workshop. This workshop will help you to achieve 90% fluency in as little as six weeks. That might sound a little bit ambitious and crazy to some of you, but it's way more possible than you think, even if it takes more than six weeks, who cares? It's 90% fluency. That is a great starting point to which you can then build off of from there and go to 95, eventually 99%. So I'll leave a link in the description below. It's 100% free. So be sure to go check out my Stop Stuttering workshop. So thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. See ya.